guys, welcome back to Line App. For today's video, we are going to show you or discuss with you Canva Audio Visualizer Tutorial. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So you might be wondering, can you use or add a audio visualizer here on Canva? Well, in this case, there are going to be a few things that you need to do or you need to understand here uh, in order for you to do so. So the thing with Canva here, it, Canva is basically an easy to use platform that allows you to create different designs, maybe for photos, videos, or for, for websites, which is something pretty cool here and really handy because it allows you to, again, uh, build your own projects really easily with templates and already existing tem uh, elements here that you could use. But the thing with Canva here, there are certain limitations, like what I said before, since it's quite simple, the functionalities or things that you could do here aren't that uh, that advanced so if you're expecting uh editing a uh, level like from adobe software or other softwares out there that has advanced features then you may want to uh lower down your expectations here on what canva can actually do with it within their platform but still if you still want to create an, an audio visualizer here in canva there is still a way but again i just want to give you this information uh, lower your uh, expectations here because again canva is pretty simple there are going to be some basic tools that you could just use here so the first thing that you want to do is we want to go and just start creating our video here so let's go and click on create design at the top left and you want to go and choose the video option here so let's go and choose video landscape now from here you could just start editing it in what way so you can change the background color here to whatever you want so maybe i want to set this to uh, either yellow if you want or change it to gradient if you want as you can see right now so at the left side here it's going to start adding our first element so in this case you could just start searching for elements that you want to use here so maybe i want to use like for example mp3 player here let's just search for it there are going to be a lot of options that you could choose from here. So obviously, it's going to filter this further to the free uh, options that we can use here. So you can just click on the three dot option here. It's going to choose MP3 player, but you can go and further filter this. But maybe I want to use one of the already existing existing one here. Search for one. So maybe as an example, maybe I want to use this one. Let's go and click on it and start adding this into our project. So in this case, you could just start adding whatever uh, information you want to add here. So for example, we want to go ahead and just add this at the right side here. And maybe we want to add a template here for our photo. Like for example, you want to show which song is playing right now. So you could go to your uh, left side here. Let's go ahead and go to elements. Click on the X element here. Uh, text uh, x button top right and from here we maybe want to add frames click on see all maybe i want to add this frame here so that for easy access now in this case every time that you want to add like a song here what you just need to do is you want to go just go to uploads here and just drag your photo that you want to use as the song itself now you could go and go to text and you could go ahead and add your heading so it had uh, subheading let's go and just add this like song title again this is just an example a template that we could use or create here obviously you need to re, uh, reposition a few things let's make this to white just go ahead and click on the color option here make this white you could add like um look in this case like a uh, bold make it bold add like text color into it you can even like add effects to it like if you want to add like splice uh if you want to add like shadows into it go ahead and do that as well now, from here, how do we start adding our visualizer, audio visualizer? So, in this case, what you could do is you want to go ahead and just go to your elements here. Go to, I'll go back here to elements by itself. Just type in the following, it's going to be audio waves. Now, you could go to graphics here and see, click on see all. Now, as you can see with audio graphics here, uh, you have the option to basically um, add different audio waves so maybe i first want to add an audio wave for this one now this one is animated which is something pretty cool let's let's go ahead and maybe add this drag it in here so we do, so that we can add it 
make it a lot bigger so that it fits the whole screen here. Now you can go ahead and make it uh, full. Now the thing with this one is you can actually right click on your element here, click on go to layer and just click on to send to back. So that's at the very back. Now you could also go to the transparency here. I reduce that so that it's just like an effect that you see always at the back. It's not that prominent, but still, this is something that makes your background not that uh, blurry. But yeah, let's go and start adding our other F uh, sound wave effect here. So maybe I want to use this one. Let's go and choose this one. Now you can go and choose whichever effect, other effects here. So this one is a lot more interesting. Let's go and add this one. Now the great thing about animated um, graphics here is you, you, can, you can even like, cro crop them. So maybe I want to only use half of it. Let's go and use this one. Let's go ahead and just uh, rotate it. You can hold like shift to make it, or sorry, uh, if I'm not mistaken, like shift to have it. This one, so 90 degrees is good enough. Let's go and resize this so that we can use uh, the whole left side of our device here as you can see we now have our we now added our uh, waveform now if you want to add your song you can go just go to upload here and go to audio and upload your uh audio that you want to use but obviously i already have one but you can upload your own let's go and drag it in here drop your music now you could just basically make this as long as you can or the first page here so you can see you can extend that and your audio would all the automatically adjust it up. So you can go extend this as much as you want. So whichever, how long you want it to last. Then you go and click on add plus button here to add your other page and just add your new song uh, as needed. Now, by the way, you can go and click on copy, uh, control, uh, control C here, control V to paste it. And it should create a copy for you as you can see right now. But yeah. So in this case, you can just start adding or editing your design here in whatever way you want. Start adding like additional effects um, if you want to uh, further improve this one. But yeah, so currently this is this best thing or the best design that we could do right now for an audio visualizer in uh, Canva. So if you're expecting like high level, like if you can actually sync the uh, waveforms here, well, unfortunately with li the limitations that we can actually do here in Canva, we won't be able to do that. But still, if you want to create an audio visualizer in Canva, you can still do that, but with just uh, not the, uh, the advanced features that you were expecting here. So yeah, if you want to add like those audio visualizers, you may need to use like advanced softwares out there. So you need to do your own research on which apps will be better for that. But still, you can go and just create your audio visualizer here in Canva still. Now, yeah. So in this case, that's about it. Hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to up. Thank you for watching.